Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we uh, found out our son is the leader of the Institute. That was something to find out. <laughs> a little shocking. And also during our conversation, I got a level up, so I decided I was going to go with armor, get the next rank on that. And, uh, for the strategy that we're trying to do, which is the almost everyone lives strategy. <laughs> uh, my headset kind of blew out on there. We're going to complete institutionalized and then stop there. And, uh... First things first is we need to talk to the leaders of the divisions. So we need to get out of here, I think, somehow. Can't get into there to talk to Synth Sean. So, that's the thing. Here's our Sean, or real Sean. I guess, <laughs> if you want to say it that way. And, uh... Wow, this place is clean as hell. Cleaner than I ever expected it to be. <laughs> wow. Alright. It is also very bright, and my eyes are not adjusting well. Ooh, undamaged camera. Hey, good stuff there. Real good stuff there. Nothing I can pull out of that. Trash can, of course, there wouldn't be anything good in there. It's a trash can. Uh, Sean's terminal password. Huh. Well, that was lucky of me. I guess this is a bed of some kind? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, a pillow that's kind of attached to the bed. Yeah, this looks like a bed. Quite a look it's got. Oh, our son's a drinker. <laughs> if this is his office, yeah, he's a drinker. Yep, like son like father. Okay. Anything else good? Undamaged camera. Nah. I got too many of those already. Out of here. Alright, well. Could I go out this door? I guess I can. Alright. Here we are. The main thoroughfare of the Institute, I guess. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Uh, wow. I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. Mm -hmm. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thanks again. Of course. I guess they didn't add the thank you, ma'am, uh, voice line. That was weird. Duh. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Yes. Right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When All right. When told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Well, I mean... <laughs> I wanted to kill the son of a bitch who murdered my wife. That that Always helps. A cold bastard. If you yeah. ask me, we're better off without him. Wow. I'll give you a quick rundown. Very frank of you. Division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. All right. As you might guess, we keep the institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We okay. maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. Yeah, you so are chief engineering. Okay. These walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. Okay. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, hmm. now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm not on board with anything. No? Eh. And yet here you are, poking around. One might find that 
suspicious. Yeah, but I still want to see. I'd recommend keeping your hands to yourself. Wouldn't want to give the impression you're up to something. Well, I can take what I want. He really is anxious to have you with us. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. All right. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. Hmm. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Oh. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on So it's today. really deep Even in now, there. we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Uh -huh. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Well, yeah, that's, that's Dr. a Film. thing to hope for. What's on your mind? Is there any other? Oh, I can ask you more questions. Oh, just cut me off for that time. Uh, I'd like to know about the people in your division. Of course. Dr. Lawrence Higgs is our mechanical engineer. He oversees mm -hmm. the major life support and security systems. Power distribution is Dr. Evan Watson's area of expertise, and Dr. Newton Oberly is in charge of food. A lot of doctors. He coordinates with bioscience to ensure that our meals are balanced for optimal nutrition. Hmm. We also make use of a number of synth units for low priority maintenance and labor. I see. But Alex, hey, I'm still hey, asking questions. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Oh yeah, absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the mm -hmm. years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. Have when you. necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. Oh. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a uh -huh. good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. I would assume so. You don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Kind of do. Just does a baseline measure to know why there. Excuse me. Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Huh. What can I requisition? I have access to a modest selection of arms, armor, and other items approved for use in field missions. Huh. That's the first time I've seen the uh, full dialogue uh, interface not want to show the text that I can say. Not now. That's that's a new one. Maybe it wasn't finished for the Institute? Huh. Not sure on that one. Terminal's Part gotta be somewhere. Uh... Hacking this is beyond me. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Maybe I should have invested in that. Unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Ah. So, if you haven't patched your navigation software, do so after this meeting. The last thing we need is more synths bumping into walls. Oh, all so right. that is a problem. That's all for now. Resume your duty. I mean, that makes sense that that would be a problem, considering that's kind of what we have now. <laughs> I would figure that they wouldn't be able to completely phase out that problem, uh, where they just can't recognize things in front of them or recognize their surroundings properly, and will just sometimes fall off ledges or bump into walls and whatnot. Because that's a current problem I've seen in most videos about robotics <laughs> that I, I've witnessed. And uh, another thing about the charging thing, that's typical of lithium-ion batteries in most everything. Uh, keep it to about that percentage or uh, let it just completely die before you recharge it. So I guess they're trying to keep it from, you know keep them from completely dying in the middle of a programmed task or for lack of a better phrase uh, falling asleep <laughs> I guess and uh, I mean that makes sense also it would help with the power consumption because then it wastes power if you're doing it the other way hey doc 
It's a real juggling act, trying to keep all the systems down here operating in the green. Yeah, I can tell. This place might look shiny and new, but there's a lot of old technology in these walls. Yeah, I bet. I lose sleep, worrying about when the next blackout's gonna hit. Oh, you actually get hit with those? How old are we talking about? Well, the reactor and a lot of the related systems, you know, cooling, monitoring, power distribution, that's all pre-war tech. Okay. Most of the superstructure down here was built later by the people who survived the war. All right. I guess each generation's been tinkering with the place, adding labs, making upgrades, and so on. Of course. Now that there's some stuff I need to check on. See you around, yeah? Well, I mean, I, I Enrico, still have a couple questions. I love my work, but I love being a father even more. Oh, your father. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> That's not what I want to hear right now. Okay, so apparently Yellow, uh, he was part of the engineering uh, section. Yellow is part... <laughs> There's color coding for their uniforms. That's for sure. Yellow is engineering. Uh, bioscience is green, I assume, considering... You know how that goes. If the coloring is going to stay the same like that. This is... Medical supplies? I assume. Okay. Robotics looks to be red. Oh, this is an actual infirmary. That's for buying shit. Okay. This is leisure, I assume that symbol means. Definitely looks like it. Oh no, there's kids here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> There's kids here too. Okay. Got a uh, dining hall here. <laughs> Took a second for my brain to fucking process that. Oh, this is another thing. Alright. This is advanced systems here. Tell me about this mysterious phase three. Mysterious. Okay. There's something about phase three that they can't talk about. Okay. That's a thing. That's a thing that I've noticed. Advanced system synth retention. We'll start the next trial. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. What? So that's just like outright semi-human testing here. I mean, they're synths, so, I mean, it's close enough. All done. You can return to your duties, and remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm-hmm. The hell guy? <clears throat> Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical and get a file going on you. No hurry, though. Um... You're the doctor here? Everyone's a doctor here. Yeah, I've and noticed. Position, then yes, I'm about as close as we've got to one. How about you take some time to get All right, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair when it comes to descriptions. You come see me if you need to get patched up. Well, I don't we'll need do to get patched up. Good and ready. Take care of yourself so I don't have to. That's a way to look at it, sure. <laughs> I, I always like that particular archetype of uh, physician and doctor. Your lungs not out of your body? Then why are you talking to me? <laughs> you haven't hacked up an organ? Then you're not dead. Get out. <laughs> it's always been just... It just tickles me every time I see one of those archetypes. It's the greatest. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Probably. Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass hmm. along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Huh. That's a, uh, synth courser. Excuse me, Doctor. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. Yeah. I truly hope you come to think of the Institute as your home. Well, I mean... I think it's a little too science fiction for my taste. Of course, I understand. Nearly all of us were born here. 
but you come from a very different world. Yeah, I do. You know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Really? Newton, people on the surface have got it pretty bad. Makes me thankful for being down here. Yeah, that's true, but I mean... They actually know hardships up there, as opposed to you guys sitting cushy down here. And I guess it is actually down here in the grand scheme of things, because if uh, what she said was true, uh, the division head for engineering, then they've been digging down for probably a long time, especially considering how just expansive this entire area is. I mean... Let's go out and actually look at it here. Look at how tall this area is. This is several stories high. And that's just this main chamber here. There was a long stretch of uh, area that... Well, I guess not area per se. A long stretch of elevator... I guess we could call it better and make more sense <laughs> that we went down before we even hit this main thoroughfare here. So they're pretty damn deep down here. And uh, quite frankly, that's impressive. And I'm sure they have equipment for that and they've been using it for quite a while, but still impressive. All right. Jesus. <laughs> there are so many things going on here. Uh, talk to every named person here. Quentin Fillmore. Hi there. Hi there. If you're looking for my mom or dad, they're probably still working. Yeah, that's probably the case. That's usually how it goes in this sort of situation. Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. Don't blame the machine for the policy set up by your fucking Bioscience Division, you fucking insolent asshole. Jesus Christ, I, I hate those kinds of people. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. They, they bitch at the fucking server or the fucking... <laughs> the fucking... Departments. <laughs> it's just... Instead of the department that is behind it, or, you know, the fact that maybe it was discontinued for a security or health concern... No, no, they, they they just want the thing, and they want it right now. I want Supplement 77. Like, the way he said it, the way he fucking said it was the worst. <laughs> so that pissed me off the most, honestly, out of all of it. It's like, motherfucker, fuck you. Alright, let's go into the Advanced Science Division. Alright. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Oh. Yeah, that's probably just doing it for fun. Hey there. Father has accomplished so much. I hope you can appreciate his work as we do. Well, maybe. So you're uh, Quentin's what? dad, I'm assuming. That was productive. She says. <laughs> productive, she says. Janet Thompson. Hey yes. Didn't I? Huh. I'm assuming you're related to the other Thompson person I ran into. Orman. Hi, Doc. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. Oh, that's what you're doing. What kinds of blueprints? Mostly components for a new plasma pistol concept I've been toying with. Oh. My energy weapons are sort of a hobby of mine. I can tell. I watched you just do that. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Well, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Rosalind. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. Well, here's hoping, because apparently they need all the fucking power they can get. 
Oh. Uh, this is a thing. Madison Lee. That's a, uh, that's a callback. <laughs> if any of you, uh, remember Fallout 3, this is a callback, kind of. Um, if you're familiar with Fallout 3 and after fucking a decade at this point, one would hope that you're at least somewhat up to speed. Uh, she was part of the main storyline in Fallout 3 up to a about near the end of the whole main storyline. After that point, apparently, she took up the Institute's offer because they did have a minor presence within uh, the Capital Wasteland at that point. Uh, and they were trying to gather up scientists from outside and try and get some more uh, knowledgeable minds into the Institute, I guess. So, uh, they uh, came to her. She took them up on their offer after the events of Fallout 3. And now she's here. How about that? And now you can talk to her. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, I am. Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. Mm -hmm. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Well? I get the impression you don't want me here. What I want in this case is largely irrelevant. Father gave his orders. That's oh, fair. Before I forget, let me see that Pip Boy of yours. Oh, really? I'm told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. Oh. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Oh. That seems kind of unnecessary. I assure you, it's necessary. The relay is the only access to the surface that we possess. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. Okay, maybe it is kind of necessary. All right. the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless Fair. there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Uh... Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm You're sorry. lying to me. I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Yeah, I can tell. You were like that in Fallout 3, too. That was kind of your thing. Dr. Lee. Uh. Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson okay. is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Watson like is trying to make one it of nice. the youngest scientists in the Institute, and uh, she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Yeah, I kind of noticed that. All right. Well, that was it. That was all of them. Dr. Lee. That was all the important ones, I guess. I'd like a progress report on your division, if you don't mind. Taking your new appointment in stride, I see. Well. Very well. We've shifted resources off of other projects, like the child synth, to focus on phase three. I'm huh. hoping that the above ground efforts are successful. I understand those depend heavily on you. I have not agreed to anything yet. Also... Phase 3 seems to be a pretty big thing, considering this is now, what was it, the third mention of Phase 3? Third or fourth? Somewhere in that ballpark. That I've heard of this Phase 3. And, uh, she kind of talked about the Sean synth with disdain there. Did you notice? The, uh, the fact... That she said child synth with like that much disdain in it. Like not even trying to call it by name. That, that was a little odd. Although considering it is a synth. Uh, I'm trying to see it from her viewpoint here. It, to her it's probably just a typical machine. Nothing more. And... Hmm. I guess, sure. You, uh, oh, you're the Watson guy that she was talking Hi, about. Since you're new here, you should take time to learn our safety procedures, and the sooner the better. All we right. Must create order, and order promotes efficiency. True. 
You sound like my fifth grade math teacher. I hated that woman. I doubt her rules were a matter of life and death. Failed to find eh. protocols in one of our labs. <laughs> could have been. could end up with a serious injury. Or worse. True. I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. All right. Uh, how big is this handbook? Just a few thousand pages. What? I to think it's a brisk read. I certainly find it so. Take care. Thousand pages? Not just like one thousand, a few thousand? Go fuck yourself. I ain't reading that. <laughs> Jesus, Horatio Christ. What? Ah, no. <laughs> the fuck? Like you would need a book that big. God damn. Also, that's not really a book at that point. That's a building block material. Jesus, Horatio. <laughs> that's a fucking brick. It's like bigger than a brick. That is a cinder block. <laughs> Alright. I'm just gonna fucking end the episode. I'm just... Yeah, boy. <laughs> There's so much to take in, and my brain is no longer wanting to hold it. <laughs> Alright. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. <laughs> if you like this particular video. And I can finally talk. And share and comment so we can bring more... And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. There, I did it! <laughs> Get my outro out of my mouth. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games. And slowly figuring out how the uh, old divisions work in the Institute. One by one. Uh, I've got two down. Two more to go for you.